wherever the waves are crashing and the wind is blowing, there's a good chance that you'll find Dr. Nicole Elko close by. So we're out here um, in the chilly parts of the day. Dr. Elko is surveying the Folly Beach coastline for how much sand was eroded away by Nicole. She's armed with a high-tech GPS. But this one is talking to 15 satellites. And uses that to see how much sand Folly Beach lost during the storm. The survey is actually a cross-section of the beach. So we come in before hurricane season and measure that cross-section of the beach. Then if a storm does come through, we can measure the cross-section again. And the difference between those two lines is the volume lost. The grim total is upwards of 300,000 cubic yards of sand eroded. The beach at 4th and 13th streets are the worst, according to Dr. Elko. It's really bad. So the beach basically had lost all of the renourishment that the Army Corps placed here as a result of Ian. The city will finish the study, estimate the loss of sand, and then request emergency help from the Army Corps of Engineers in the coming weeks, which will be busy for Dr. Elko. It's a it's a fun job because you'll go from, you know, being in a wetsuit in the ocean to kind of having to talk to the mayor or even the governor about the importance of rehabilitating the beaches. Dr. Elko says that the sand will start naturally returning to Folly Beach in the coming weeks from the ocean in the form of tidal pools. Reporting on Folly Beach, I'm Forrest Sucker. Count on two.